List of hidden slash virtual Windows user accounts. I'm trying to find a way to get a comprehensive list of user accounts on a Windows 7 system, including hidden ones. The user accounts dialog, control user passwords 2, only shows the normal user accounts, and even the local user and groups editor only shows normal user accounts and standard hidden slash disabled ones like administrator and guest. The select users or groups dialog has a find now button which which combines users and groups, but alas, it has the same contents as the log. I'm looking for a more comprehensive list that includes super hidden slash virtual user accounts like trusted installer or to be more accurate, NT service backslash trusted installer, notice the different domain. I checked HKLM backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows NT backslash current version backslash Windowcon backslash special accounts backslash user list, but the special accounts key does not exist. I also checked HKLM backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows NT backslash current version backslash profile list, and while it does have the system profile, local service, and network service accounts listed, it does not have others, like trusted installer and its ilk. Trusted installer specifically is a little confusing because it is a user, a service, and an executable file. I am using it as an example because it is super hidden in that it does not seem to be listed in any sort of user list. As an experiment, I tried searching the whole registry for trusted installer to see if I could find a place where it is listed as a user, but found none. To be clear, what I'm looking for is a list of all accounts that can be used in a user input field such as in permissions dialogues or as a run as argument. Go to any file on your hard drive, right click and select properties. Go to the security tab and click edit. Click add dot dot dot. Click advanced dot dot dot. Click object types dot 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 and uncheck groups, then click OK. Click find now. This will list all regular users and built-in system users, built-in security principles, as Windows calls them. Note that not all accounts that appear on this page can be used in a runner's command, though they can all be used in a permissions dialog. This is because trusted installer is a service and not a user object. With Vista, services are now security principles and can be assigned permissions. This URL. From Windows Vista on, services are treated as users. That is, a security identifier, SID, is assigned to every service. This is not specific to trusted installer service. You can view the SID assigned to any service using the SC show SID command. Usage, SC show SID, name, description, displays the service SID string corresponding to an arbitrary name. The name can be that of an existing or non-existent service. Note that there is no need for the service to exist on the system. Examples Or, for the service Windows Management Instrumentation, Wint. And, finally, for a fake service. Note that all SIDS start with S, 1-5-80, where 80 is assigned to security underscore service underscore ID underscore base underscore its sub-authority. Moreover, this assignment is deterministic, no RIDs are used, and the SID will be the same across all systems, see the references at the end of this post for more information. As an example, I will assign the NT service backslash wind service, write permission to some file. Windows underlines the name wind, confirming that it's a valid identity. Now, click OK, and then assign the right permission. This confirms that any service name can be used as a user identity. Therefore, I wouldn't call them super hidden accounts D. For more information, please read the following articles. New ACLS Improve Security in Windows Vista WS 2008, Windows Service Hardening SID Components Well-known SIDS Well-known security identifiers in Windows operating systems I don't think there is an ultimate list of all possible accounts. There are different types of names you can use in the user input field such as in permissions dialogues. First up are standard Win32 underscore accounts, to get a full list open a PowerShell session and run. These are the usual users, groups and the built-in accounts. 
Since Vista, there is a new class of accounts, called virtual accounts, because they do not show up in the usual management tools. There are sometimes called service accounts as well, and there are at least three different types of these. Windows Service Accounts Since Vista every Windows service has a virtual account associated with it, even if it runs under a different user account and even if it does not run at all. It looks like NT service backslash MSQL server. To get a list of those use. IIS application pools. Each IIS application pool that runs under the application pool identity runs under a special account called IIS app pool backslash name off the pool. Assuming you have the IIS management scripting tools installed, you can run. Hyper-V Virtual Machines On Server 2008 Plus and Windows 8 Plus you have Hyper-V, each virtual machine creates its own virtual account, which looks like NT Virtual Machine Backslash 1043F032219944 DA8697201 FAA50C5 To get a list use Ever though these accounts are not accepted in the permissions dialog, you can use them with icicles.exe to set permissions. There is also a special group anti virtual machine backslash virtual machines, which doesn't show up elsewhere. All of the virtual machine accounts are members of this group, so you can use this to set permissions for all VM files. These names are language specific, e.g. in German it is named anti virtual machine backslash virtual computer. Desktop window manager. The dvm.exe process, desktop window manager, runs under a user windows manager backslash dwm1. Again you cannot use this type of users in the permissions dialogs. It is not really possible to enumerate these either because one exists for each desktop session, so when using two RDP sessions, you also have dwm2 and dwm3 in addition to dvm1. So there are as many as there are desktops available. Computer names. In certain cases you can also use computer names in the permissions dialog, usually when being part of an active directory domain. Windows Remoting Virtual Users When using PowerShell and G, just enough administration, and connect to a server with a PS remote session, a temporary virtual user may be created. These have the following format. Winroom Virtual Users backslash Winroom VA underscore X underscore computer name underscore username and in SID that starts with S, 1-5-94. The X is an integer number. These accounts can be used when assigning NTFS permissions, but I don't know how to list all these possible virtual users. While in a G session you can use Huami to find out the current account name. Finally, even these lists don't give you every possible account. For example, you can create an application pool Fubber pool then delete it again. You can still use IIS app pool backslash Fubber pool in the permissions dialog, so there must be an internal list somewhere. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.